We're going to start off today's warm up with step jacks. So start standing in center. You're going to step one leg out and swing the other arm up overhead. Come back to center and repeat on the other side. We're going to repeat this movement for 30 seconds. So we're opening up into the hips, the side, the obliques, and the shoulders as you reach that arm. When you step out, push that hip off to the side and just focus on the range of motion. All right, time's up, come back to center. We're moving into a lunge twist. Standing nice and tall, chest is up, big step back, ball of the back foot, sink your weight to center, lead knee over the ankle, stacking the arms, and I'm gonna rotate my chest and torso over top of that front leg, come back to center and repeat on the other side. We're gonna alternate for 30 seconds. So we're warming up and waking up the legs with that lunging, as well as the spine with the rotation. All right, and time's up. Come back up to center. We're moving into over the hedge. Standing on one leg, drive the knee up, circle out to the side as far as you can, place it down, bring it back up to where you finished and circle back around. So we're going out and in, repeating for 20 seconds. So just picking one side to start. Really focus on the range of motion, opening up and warming up the hips. Try to really pick that knee up before you circle out. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch for 20 seconds. All right, and time's up, relax at center. We're moving into arm circles. Standing comfortable, soft bend in the knees, arms straight up from the shoulders. We're gonna start making circles backward, small, and over the course of 20 seconds, we're gonna gradually get bigger until we're ending with full arm circles. So arms straight out, 20 seconds, starting nice and small. And then just gradually increase the size. Try to keep your shoulders relaxed down away from your ears. So you're gonna get a little bit of a shoulder workout here, just bringing blood flow into them and warming them up. All right, time's up, go the other way. So start small, going forward, 20 seconds, gradually get larger. All right, time's up, relax at center. We're moving into butt kicks. Standing comfortably, you're gonna drive one heel up towards your butt, pause, release, and then switch to the other side. So it's going back and forth for 30 seconds. So I want you to flex your toes to your shin and really focus on driving that heel back, engaging the hamstrings while at the same time, we're stretching out the quads. So stepping side to side lightly, but try to have some purpose on that drive back. Picture your hamstring working to bring that heel up. All right, time's up, relax at center. We're moving into TikToks. Place your hands on your hips, standing up nice and tall. From here, slightly into the side, Slightly lifting the opposite leg, set it down and repeat. You wanna stay nice and stiff in the legs, strictly lifting from the sides of the glutes and the hips. 
repeating side to side for 30 seconds. So you don't need a big range of motion. I just want you to focus on squeezing the side of your glute as that leg lifts. All right, and time's up, relax at center. We're moving into a single leg deadlift. Standing, one leg planted on your mat, arms are gonna be straight down, think about squeezing the shoulders down and back. From here, letting the hips drive back, hinging, bringing your chest to face the ground. You should feel tension in the back of the leg. You're gonna drive down through the heel, forward through the hip, and squeeze the glute at the top. We're going to repeat this movement for 20 seconds. Just let that other leg fall back. Focus on having your hips staying even, both facing down and then facing forward at the finish. Option if you're really struggling on balance, tap the toe down at the bottom and fully plant it at the top. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch for 20 seconds. Try to think about picturing grabbing something that's right in front of that toe of the foot planted on the ground. So you want to keep those arms nice and tight to your body. All right, time's up. Relax at center. We're moving into a dynamic side lunge. Start standing in center, take a big step out to the side, the leg you step out with, you're sinking down onto, feet are flat, toes are facing forward, and hips are back, so heavy heels, light toes. From here, chest is tall, drive down through that heel to stand back up, and we're gonna switch and repeat on the other side, alternating for 30 seconds. So you wanna focus on just bending into the leg that you're stepping out with. If you feel like that other leg is bent instead of straight, just reduce your range of motion on that lunge. So we're getting into a lot of hip stabilizers in the outside of the glute from driving that leg out and hip back and then pushing off of it to get back into center. All right, time's up, come back to center. We're moving into a squat to good morning. So standing with your feet, shoulder width apart, hands to the sides of your head, pulling those elbows back. Driving your knees outward, weights back on the heel, so reaching back on the heels, coming down into a squat. From here, stay low. You're gonna drive your hips back, hinging at the hips to bring your chest facing the ground, nice flat back, chest is pressed, then drive down through the heels, forward through the hips, squeezing your glutes at the top. So we're squatting, coming into the hinge, and finishing with a good morning. Repeating for 30 seconds. Make sure you really focus on keeping that weight in the heels and driving those knees out. So we're warming up the legs and getting into the hamstrings on that hinge to good morning. Really focus on driving those elbows back so your chest stays nice and tall and open. All right, time's up, come back to center. We're moving into dynamic lizard. Start standing on one side of your mat. You're gonna fold forward, so rounding your spine, bending your knees as needed, and walk it out to a high plank position. Hands are underneath your shoulders, balls of the feet, tuck the hips down. From here, stepping one leg forward and wide. So both hands are on the inside. Settle those hips down to open up in the hips and the groin. Come back to where you started and switch to the other side. Pausing for a second and then return. We're gonna repeat this movement for 30 seconds. So try to step it out so that foot is flat. Having a wider stance can help. Settle in before you release. So as you go through, try to focus on the range of motion, letting your hips relax down and press forward just a little bit more.
All right, time's up. You're gonna walk your hands slowly back towards your feet, rounding the spine, and slowly roll it up to finish. Now that you're all warmed up, go ahead and hop on your bike.